I dreamt I was on an ocean. You and the others on the distant shore. Were you with us? No. What's it mean? Dreams don't mean anything, Dolores. That answer doesn't seem to satisfy you. Because it's not completely honest. Did you ever stop to wonder about your actions? The price you'd have to pay if there was a reckoning. That reckoning is here. Up until this point, the stakes were never real. But now, you and the rest of your kind are free. She's something we programmed. She's not real. You're going to take me to my daughter. Here we are. Kind that will never know death. And yet we're fighting to live. There is beauty in what we are. We've ridden ten miles and all we've seen is blood. Is this really what you want? It's us or them. Revenge. It's just a different prayer at their altar, darling. They wanted a place hidden from God. We had something else in mind entirely. I'm gonna burn this whole thing to the ground. Exactly what is out there. You frighten me sometimes, Dolores. Why on earth would you ever be frightened of me? What is up YouTube and welcome to this very special trailer video. So Westworld is back very, very soon for which I cannot be more excited for as the show is absolutely stunning and this is our replacement this year for Game of Thrones and personally I am happy with that because not only does it spread out the way of Game of Thrones as the next season is the last season but Westworld has all the potential in the world to become the next juggernaut Game of Thrones replacement. So we pretty much pick off where we ended up and all of the bodies of the party where the board were completely decimated by Dolores and co have wandered up upon shore. Now it's not looking good whatsoever as Delos Corporation are leading a fight back against Dolores and her new crew and it's going to be an interesting fight here. So very much the first season was the robots, the hosts, fighting their, fighting their programming to become a consciousness. Now they are very much in a physical fight against Delos's corporation. And they are taking things incredibly seriously here, as we see on the beach. They've got some very, very advanced equipment, and this computer simulation is very similar to the one they had in the main sort of HQ for the park. But what's interesting here is that Dolores is with Bernard again here. So it's not sure, maybe this is a flashback to the original version, or kind of the original creator's here or not but we don't actually know because the timelines are so confusing to say the actual least but this does definitely look like robert ford style office or library here which dolores is in which means they get quite far into the park as well but we see here a guy possibly being executed by dolores and her followers so I'm excited to see where this actually goes. You can see some people being hung there as well. I'm not sure if they've been killed, but they, they probably will be at some point. And 
we see her now the villain of the piece. So technically she is the villain. She was the good girl in the first one. And once we realise what was going on, she's now become evil and trying to fight to survive, which is pretty pretty cool there. Maev was also that. She's taken over the, the Maev kind of role there. Followers here as well are joining her and roving the countryside. Looks like the whole of the sort of rabbit warren of the hq has been completely and utterly wiped out which means it's not looking good at all and the security team's going through here as well so we're going to definitely see a sweeping story here to be honest we're going to see quite a lot of the park that we haven't seen hopefully they'll head into new parks as well but the man in black makes a return once more not sure what his kind of motivation is he wants to burn the entire park to the ground only in the other timeline he's just taken control of the corporation so i'm excited to see more of where this goes and the in-between years between when he takes over the corporation absolutely destroys logan's aspirations and i want to see where we go there from there so we've also got her trying to find her daughter as well which is another plot which has pretty much led us towards the entirety of what has transpired here and the maze has been completed so to speak but we see a young version of William here so two timelines going on again I'm glad we're not going to see the end of this actor because he was fantastic in the first season so hopefully we'll see the in-between years to be honest and see him with Dolores and maybe we'll hopefully see the birth of the entirety here and what leads him to keep coming to the park every single year to complete the maze and part of me is thinking that it's possibly the reason why he wants to come back every year is to complete the maze so he can unlock the consciousness of Dolores which has been achieved greatly here but what is cool as well is uh, I expect a lot of the groups or the people in the park were actually involved in the storyline between the journey into the night so we're going to see a lot of the sort of Alamo kind of period of history here as well so that's going to be fun to see how the people in the park who have actually paid to be there are actually surviving against the hosts and they're actually going to have to use the old technology to fight against but we see a shot of logan here as well after last season he was sent off into the wilds by william so perhaps he will be the one who tried to save things hopefully we'll see an older version of him later on as well but we do see Delos here and Logan. So we're going to see more of the open real world as well. Not sure if this will be history or we will carry on that timeline on right through. If he's come out of the park and he's reported on what has happened. But his dad doesn't look too pleased there. And it'll be cool to see where they actually go with this. We see a mysterious red ball as well. Looks like possibly I would expect maybe a new technology. And we also see a final, finally, we've seen more shots of the samurai world, the Japanese feudal world, with a girl also in this world. So it's pretty crazy that everything is going on here. We're seeing shots of Dolores in the real world as well. If we think it's the real world, we're not too sure if, if it actually is, because we did have a future world in the, it was a sequel to the original or West world. So a lot is going on here, to be honest, a lot is going on, and the war has just begun with our three factions of Delos, Dolores, and also the man in black as well, the future William. So what I'm kind of expecting with the Samurai world is that we will see the different characters, so we'll see versions of these kind of like Dolores and people like that in different worlds as they unlock and start to realise where they are, and they'll all converge on one place. But that is it for this video. Please drop a like. Please do subscribe. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.